Hi everyone, welcome to MRKWP. Have you ever wanted to style your placeholders and your gravity forms? Well today, I'm gonna to show you how to do it with some simple CSS. Let's get into the video. So when it comes to styling a placeholder, you can see here that I've put a placeholder in here. And unfortunately right now, as of the recording of this video, I don't have the ability to color that within our Gravity Form Styler. It's coming, but there is a quick workaround. Let me show you. So click Enable Visual Builder. Once this is enabled, click on the three dots at the bottom of the page, and then click on the Page Settings. Click on Advanced. Go to Custom CSS and paste in the placeholder like so. Click Update like that. That then has set the placeholder, click save, you're done. So that little bit of code snippet that I've done, um, there's a link available in the description of this video so that you can copy that. Just change the color to whatever it is that you want. It does take a hexadecimal or an RGB color. So feel free to grab whatever color it is you want in CSS, paste that snippet in, and on that given page, the placeholder will update. Now, if you wanna do one lot for your entire website, there's a way to do that. So let me exit the visual builder now. And then I go into <clears throat> my dashboard. From here, I go to Divi. Then I go to my integration page. And in here, I can put in CSS styling, right? So I can put in some style here. So in that case, I can just say, you know, style, and then paste my code in, and then close the style tags. That will work as well, and you would save that. Uh, the other one you can do as well is by going to Theme Customizer, and inside the Theme Customizer, you can also set the CSS. So you can click on Additional CSS here, paste it there like so, click Publish, and that will also give you the coloring of your placeholder across all pages for your Gravity Forms um, and anything else that's using placeholders for that matter. So I hope that helps you. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments on this video. I'll see you in the next video.